good evening good evening everyone welcome to my live stream or recorded uh, video this is number for uh, 15 of the new beginnings series version 2020 we would like to thank asi for this very nice slides and presentations uh, this is number 15 and you can access the slides yourself by going by googling asi new beginnings dvd and you can see the downloads of these presentations in many different languages so as we start let us pray our father in heaven forgive us from our sins be merciful to us please give us wisdom and understanding to understand your word and give us experience about your word so that we can share it with others thank you for hearing our prayers in jesus name we pray amen so yeah there was a criminal who had many many sins but he repented and he was forgiven and he became a member of the choir you see there is confession first john 1 9 says if you confess our sins he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins my friend it's very nice when we confess our sins God assures us of forgiveness. So this guy was a uh, criminal, can be singing in the choir. When people repent, the Lord forgives them from their sins. Uh, another example in the Bible is Saul. It says in Acts 22, 4 and 5, I persecuted to death, binding and delivering into prisons both men and women, and went to Damascus to bring in chains, even those who were there to Jerusalem to be punished. And then he was hit by a light when he was going to Damascus with letters to persecute the apostles of Jesus. And the bright light uh, made him fall from his horse and he heard a voice saying soul soul why are you persecuting me and then he answered who are you lord so this guy is a godly person and the voice answered i am jesus of nazareth whom you are persecuting so he realized he was persecuting the god he thought he was serving and then he said what shall i do lord and the lord said in acts 22 10 arise and go into damascus and there you will be told all things which are appointed for you to do wow amazing the persecutor actually has an assignment for from god so he spent i think three days there in acts 22 13 to 15 this guy uh, another prophet uh, the lord told him you go to this man's house and you heal him from his blind uh, blindness so his this guy the other prophet came and he said brother soul receive your sight and at that same hour i looked up at him he was healed then he said the god of our fathers has chosen you that you should know his will and see the just one and hear the voice of his mouth for you will be his witness to all men of what you have seen and heard wow so even if we did foolish negative evil things before the lord has still an assignment can give us an assignment for the salvation of other people so when we repent what is the solution that is baptism in acts 22 16 says and now why are you waiting arise and be baptized and wash away your sins calling on the name 
of the Lord. Since John the Baptist, everybody in the Bible who wants to repent of their sins wanted to be baptized. That is the message of John the Baptist and of Jesus and of the disciples. People have to decide if they wanted to repent. And in Matthew 3, 5 and 6, then Jerusalem, all Judea, and all the region around Jordan went out to him. Who was that? That is John the Baptist. And were baptized by him in Jordan, confessing their sins. So, before you get baptized, you have to confess your sins. And if you don't confess your sins to God, then you should not uh, you should confess your sins before you baptize be baptized in John 1 9 Jesus wanted to be baptized after coming from fasting but John the Baptist said behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world my friends the water cannot take away our sins it is just a symbol of our being washed by the Lamb of God. It is Jesus who can take away our sins. And then uh, J Jesus wanted to be baptized, but John the Baptist said, I I'm the one who needs to be baptized by you. But Jesus replied, he said, permit it now, so thus it is fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness in uh, other versions it says let it be for now to fulfill all righteousness jesus christ did not commit any sins but he wanted to be a good example and being baptized is righteous activity to fulfill all righteousness so what happened when he had been baptized jesus came up immediately from the water so jesus was under the water and he came up from the water and behold the heavens were opened and he saw the spirit of god descending like a dove and alighted upon him wow imagine john the baptist was baptizing the baptizing the son of god and he heard the voice of god this is my beloved son in whom i am i am well pleased and he saw also the Holy Spirit in the form of a dove. How amazing, yeah? To see that the Godhead, the three persons of the Godhead in one instance, or to hear. And suddenly a voice came from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son in whom I am well pleased. So God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power who went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. What happens when we are baptized? The Lord will send the Holy Spirit to be with us so that we can do many good things. That's why it's very nice to be baptized. In John 4, 1 and 2, it says, The Pharisees had heard that Jesus made and baptized more disciples than John. Though Jesus himself did not baptize, but his disciples, actually, it's not the baptizer that is important, but the baptism. So, Jesus actually said when he was leaving earth, he said that we should go, he told the disciples, go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them. So, baptizing is actually a command. Baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you. So there is teaching, there is baptism, and there is the Great Commission. That's why we are teaching, and then we are baptizing, and then we are teaching everything else. Okay? And lo, I am with you always unto the end of the age. So until the end of the earth, of this age, uh, the history of the earth we are supposed to continue to baptize people how many times uh, do we need to be baptized Ephesians 4 5 says there is only one Lord one faith and one baptism okay it says there so there was uh, 
man, a eunuch who was reading uh, the Old Testament, and then this apostle was ra running behind, and he said, do you understand what you are reading in Acts 8, 30 and 31? And the eunuch said, how can I unless someone guides me? Then Philip opened his mouth, and beginning at this scripture, he preached Jesus to him. And then after explaining everything, the guy was so happy, he understood everything. And Philip said, see, here is water. What hinders me from being baptized? No, it is the man who said, what hinders me from being baptized? So he, want, he, he understood something and he wanted to be baptized. Yeah? So when there is additional understanding, you can also uh, be baptized. Then Philip said, if you believe with all your heart, so you have to believe. You have to have the capacity to believe. You may. That is the prerequisite. You may. And he answered and said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. So he commanded the chariot to stand still. And both Philip and the eunuch went down into the water and he was baptized. So they went down into the water, my friend. Another example, Acts 8.39. Now when they came up out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord caught Philip, and he went on his way rejoicing. So Philip uh, disappeared. <laughs> but this eunuch, in a way, he was baptized. He was ha a happy guy. You know what? In the history of the church, the Christian church, in the olden days, there was still this what we call a baptistry where people go into the water, like really submerged. If you look at the old, old cathedrals and churches, there is the baptistry where people go inside under the water. Yeah, and inside the old churches, there, are, there is the baptistry. But some people started to get another idea of inst baptizing infants this one we cannot find in the bible and uh, we should only do what is in the bible N not adding nor subtracting actually the history tells it in faith of our fathers 94 edition page 277 for several centuries after the establishment of christianity baptism was usually conferred by immersion but since the 12th century, the practice of baptizing by infusion has prevailed in the Catholic Church, as this matter is attended with less inconvenience than baptism by immersion. The Church exercises her discretion in adopting the most convenient mode according to the circumstances of time and place. So that is why... Uh, this is not the biblical mode of baptism. This was just invented by the Catholic Church. But we want to do what Jesus did, okay? Romans 6, 3 and 4. Or do you know not that as many of us as were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized unto his death? You know what death means? You are under the ground or under the water. Therefore, we were buried with him through baptism into death. So when we are baptized, we die to our old self. And then when we come out of the water, it is the new self, the, the self that was forgiven from all our sins. Romans 6 4 says that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so, we should also walk in newness of life. So when we are baptized, the old self dies and a new self in Jesus Christ will be born again. And there is newness of life. Yes, baptism is very nice experience. And actually, Nicodemus was also very curious about this one. John 3, 2, it says, Decodemus came to Jesus at night. He said, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher come from God. 
for no one can do this signs that you do unless God is with him. Jesus answered and said to him, Most assuredly, I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. So he was wondering, how can we be born again? How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born? So Jesus answered, Most assuredly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. So my friend, it says, unless one is born of the water, that is baptism, and the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That's why we should, we want, if we are not yet baptized, we want to be baptized because we want to enter the kingdom of God. That is one of the prerequisites according to Jesus himself. Mark 16, 16 further says, He who believes and is baptized will be saved. Wow, very nice. Acts 8, 37 says, If you believe with all your heart, you may be saved. That is the eunuch. Okay, we, Jesus Christ actually says, that we go back again to Matthew 28, 19. Jesus says, Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Ghost, and teaching them to observe all the things that I have commanded you. So after you will get baptized into the church, into the faith, you go to church and you study all things that God has commanded us. How about our old sins? Acts 3.19 says, Repent therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out. So the solution to our sins is to accept Jesus as our personal Savior and to understand Jesus' teachings and to confess your sins and repent. Confess them to Jesus Christ and repent. Repent means you turn your life around. Do not wait to repent first. You accept Jesus and then you understand the law and then you confess your sins and repent and Jesus will help you to change. There are many people who were doing foolish things but now we are happy, they are happy because God forgave them from their sins. It is a family of God, different people, different kinds of uh, background they are all happy because they accepted Jesus Christ as their personal savior and we are a family we have different nationalities different colors and it is a happy it is a joyful event actually Acts 2 41 and 42 says then those who gladly received his word were baptized wow you know when we hear the good news we are very happy and that day about 3,000 souls were added to them. When the preaching of the word happens, many people will be baptized as like before. And they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship, in the baking of bread and in prayers. Okay. 1 Corinthians 12, 13 says, For by one Spirit we were all baptized into one body. So, the church of God, God's true church, is actually only one. There is only one body. For by one Spirit we were all baptized into one body. You know what? <clears throat> uh... Paul was imprisoned and they were bound and they were singing at night. But Paul called in Acts 16, 28 to 31, but Paul called with a loud voice saying, do not harm yourself for we are all here. The story, this, this happened is they were bound there and then when the prison guard uh, woke up, he saw that the doors were open 
But Paul and his companion, they did not escape. You know the rule in the Roman and the Roman soldiers: if you are a guard and the prisoner escapes, <clears throat> you should be killed because you did not do your duty. So he wanted to kill himself because the, uh, he thought that his prisoner escaped. But Paul said, "Do not harm yourself. We are all here. They did not escape, even if the earthquake opened the doors." Really? So he, this guy was shocked. The guard, the prison guard was shocked. And he brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? The prisoner, a prison guard, the guard of the prison, sensed that these were good people and that they might know the salvation. So he said, How can I be saved? Since you saved my life, I want to be saved. So the answer of Paul, Believe on Lord Jesus the Lord Jesus Christ, and you will be saved. You and your household believe, and you will be saved. So, what happened? So, he took them the same hour of the night and washed their stripes. Wow, he was guarding, but now he wants to be saved, and he did good. He washed their wounds, and immediately he and all his family were baptized. Wow. You and your house can be baptized, my friend, if you all want to be saved. Acts 22.16 says, Why are you waiting? Arise and be baptized and wash away your sins. That is an invitation for you also, my friend. If you have not yet been baptized, the Bible says, What are you waiting for? Arise and be baptized and wash away your sins. That is the invitation of Jesus Christ to you, my friend. And the Holy Spirit will be poured upon you. The Lord will forgive you from all our, your sins and will give you plenty of assignments in saving other people also. That is making a new start and how to be born again. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, thank you, Lord, for the forgiveness that is available for us, for your plan of salvation for erasing our many sins that we have committed. We ask that you give us wisdom and understanding spiritually to decide and help others also decide.